In this video, I will be providing a review of the Lake Elsinore real estate market ending the second quarter of 2021. Hi, this is Tom Olsuski with Caldwell Banker and Team Olsuski here with the second quarter of 2021 Lake Elsinore real estate market update. Wow, we are currently halfway through 2021 and I've been creating these market reports quarterly and if you find them useful, please hit the subscribe uh, or the like button down below. This is the Lake Elsinore real estate market summary. I will also give you some insights on what the experts are saying the 2021 real estate market will be looking like. Is there a shift coming? Experts are saying yes, and I don't see this crazy market sustaining long term. But here are the top five housing trends for Riverside County overall. Number one, the number of available homes to purchase is finally starting to rise. The unprecedented ultra low inventory has been the story for over a year now. Yet finally, now that summer has arrived with all of its normal cyclical distractions, the inventory is on the rise, adding 268 homes, up 11% within the past four weeks and has been steadily climbing since the end of June. It has grown by 630 homes or 30%. This trend will continue throughout the summer months. Number two, demand. The number of new escrows over the prior month is on the decline after reaching a peak mid-June. Demand typically peaks between April and mid-May. This year it peaked in the middle of June so far in Riverside County. Since peaking in June, demand has dropped from 3,976 to 3,643 pending sales, shedding 333 or down 8%. Within the past two weeks alone, it dropped by 137 escrows or 4%, its second largest drop of the year. This trend should also continue throughout the summer months. Number three. Close sales are at its highest level since 2005. Through the first five months of the year, there were 16,838 closed sales. This pace is the highest since 2005. With demand continuing to outpace prior years, 2021 will be the strongest year for closing since prior to the Great Recession. Number four. Fewer homeowners are opting to list their homes for sale. This trend started last year with the onset of COVID, but dissipated and reversed its course in August last year, when the inventory reached a record low at the start of this year. Many homeowners were nervous about selling and worried that there would be nothing for them to buy after selling. Combine that with the knowledge that home values were soaring, many homeowners were more than happy to wait on the sidelines while their equity quickly grew. During the first quarter, there were 17% fewer homes that entered the fray compared to the five-year average from 2015 to 2019. In April, there were 12% fewer for sale signs, 554 fewer. In May, it was 13% or 590 fewer. In the first two weeks of June, it was off by 6% or 144 fewer. This trend will continue as long as the inventory remains muted and mortgage rates remain at historic lows below 3.5%. Number five, pressure is building for mortgage rates to rise, which will impact affordability and demand. During the first week of this year, mortgage rates reached an all-time historical low, 2.65% according to Freddie Mac's primary mortgage market survey. It reached 3.18% on April 2nd, but reverse course and drop below 3% by the third week of April. It has been dancing around 3% ever since, reaching 2.98% on July 2nd. The pressure on rising rates has been mounting with inflation readings climbing. 
So let's get to the details for the Lake Elsinore real estate market and let's see how it ended the second quarter. So overall, it remains steady and is still a crazy seller's market overall. Ending the second quarter, there was only 1.2 months of inventory and homes on average selling in about six days if priced right. Even though the number of active listings is lower than a year ago, the total number of sales is slightly higher and is still strong. As I had stated previously, even though it's crazy, it's a better market to buy and sell as affordability is still good driven by low interest rates at about 3.125%. The lack of inventory with still a lot of buyers looking to take advantage of the low interest rates could mean more money for your home if you sell now before the market shifts and more sellers look to take advantage of this crazy market we are in today. Uh, let's see how the overall Lake Elsinore real estate market looked ending up this second quarter of 2021 overall and take a look at this last quarter year over year. So let's see what the detailed numbers look like here in Lake Elsinore. First, we will look at closed sales in Lake Elsinore. At the end of June, at the end of June 2021, there were a total of 260 closed sales in the city of Lake Elsinore of all price ranges and types of homes. This compares to 204 closed sales at the end of June 2020, which is a year over year increase of about 27.5%. The number of sales is slightly higher than the 2020 numbers and last year they did not start to pick up until June and peaked in August with 308 homes sold. All predictions are indicating 2021 should be a good year for selling and buying, especially if interest rates stay low as they are predicting. Next, we will look at the number of active listings and I have slides on this and all of the other stats um, that will show up in the video. The decrease in listings overall. As of the end of June, there were 135 active listings in the city of Lake Elsinore, which is down from 182 the previous year, decreasing 25.8%. This has been decreasing slightly since May, but still very low. Um, it is important to understand these numbers that even with them being so low, if you want to sell your home, it still has to look great to get top dollar with buyers still being picky. We can help with that. And if you go out to our new video blog, I have a video covering what top five things you can do to get top dollar when you sell. The next important number we will look at is how many months supply of listings do we have in Lake Elsinore? This along with the number of sales indicates what type of market we have today. Where are we ending up the second quarter of 2021? So are we still in a crazy seller's market or was there a shift? Well, the data as of the end of June shows just 1.2 months of inventory available for buyers. This is down 29.4% overall year over year. With the neutral point being six months, we are definitely still in a crazy seller's marketplace. If you have questions about your specific neighborhood or home, please give me a call or send an email and I can give you specifics for your area in Lake Elsinore and your home. So are home values still increasing here in Lake Elsinore? Uh, well, the medium sales price for June in Lake Elsinore overall is $515,000. Once again, no need to adjust your speakers. I did say $515,000. Wow. Uh, this compares to the beginning of 2021, where the median sales price was 460,000. This shows about a 33.8% increase year over year. Again, it is important to know that this combines all types of homes and price points. So during this pandemic, we have learned that our maybe our current house may or may not be working for our family needs. Maybe it's time to upsize or possibly downsize. Is it a good time to sell? Absolutely. So just to show how strong the market really is, here are the numbers pertaining to the percentage of sales price to the original list price. 
Homes overall in Lake Elsinore sold at 104.7% of the original list price overall, increasing slightly by 4.7%. In general, I'm seeing if a home is in great shape, it's going to sell for a lot over list price and get many offers. But homes not in great shape are not going as high over list price or getting as many offers. So the next number to be aware of is the number of days a home stays on the market before selling. For Lake Elsinore, at the end of June, the number was six days. This number reflects an 81.3% decrease year over year. What I'm seeing is a home will typically come on the market Thursday and have an accepted offer by Monday or Tuesday. So here is a summary of the Riverside County real estate market. The active listing inventory added 174 homes in the past two weeks, up 7%, and now sits at 2,733, its highest level since January. The summer market has arrived along with its many distractions. Now that Californians are free to roam the earth again, everyone is eager to enjoy the summer they couldn't have last year. Demand. It's a snapshot of the number of new pending sales over the prior month. This decrease from 3,780 to 3,643 in the past couple of weeks shedding 137 pending sales. This is down 4%, it's the largest drop so far this year. Demand is at its lowest level since January. Summer has arrived. Many buyers are taking a much needed short break to enjoy the summer they skipped last year. As a result, demand is starting to drop. Expect demand to continue to methodically drop throughout the summer and autumn markets and then drop at a greater clip during the holidays beginning in mid-November. So the expected market time for all of Riverside County in the past two weeks increased from 20 to 23 days. It's still a red hot seller's market, which means less than 60 days. It was at 34 days last year, much slower than today. So for homes priced between 500 and 650,000, the expected market time is at 19 days, a hot seller's market. This range represents 22% of the active inventory and 26% of the demand. For homes priced between 650 and 800,000, the expected market time is at 28 days. <coughs> Again, a hot seller's market. This range represents 15% of active inventory and 12% of the demand. For homes priced between 800 and a million, in the past two weeks, the expected market time increased from 28 to 31 days. For homes priced between one and 1.5 million, the expected market time increased from 39 to 42 days. For homes priced above 1.5 mil, the expected market time increased from 82 to 85 days. So on the luxury end, all home, and this includes all homes above 800,000, it accounts for 24% of the inventory and 12% of the demand. So now let's talk about distressed homes. This is both short sales and foreclosures combined, made up only 0.6% of all listings and 0.5% of the demand. There are only 13 foreclosures and three short sales available to purchase today in Riverside County. 16 total distressed homes on the active market. This is up four in two weeks. Last year, there were 74 total distressed homes on the market. This is, that was much more than today. There were 3,475,000 ,000 closed residential resales in May, up 71% over May 2020. 2037 closed sales may marked an 8% decrease compared to April 2021. The sales list price ratio was 101.9% for Riverside County. Foreclosures accommodated just 0.4% of closed sales. Short sales accounted for 0.1%. That means that 99.5% of all sales were good old fashioned sellers with equity.
So I hope this market update has been helpful. If you have been thinking about buying or selling and would like more information, please feel free to contact me directly at 951-506-5744 or via email tom at timosuski.com. If you would like to receive future market updates, please click the subscribe button below or to the side. There will be a slide at the end of this video on ways to contact us. The bottom line as I see it is, it's still a great time to buy and sell with still low interest rates, making affordability still very low. Barring a zombie attack, experts do not see a slowdown or a crash coming. Take advantage of this market if it makes sense to you and your family. So this is Tom Olsuski with Team Olsuski and Caldwell Banker signing out. Make it a great day.